Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler, and you're watching Redman TV. I said it. Um, <laughs> let's move on to uh, the transfer news. Um, I think a lot of this is, you know, uh, there's nothing concrete coming out. I think what is the only concrete thing is that Tony Silver's gone, gone to Barnsley uh, for, for for next to nothing. Shame. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, he looked right. a little bit exciting at times. <clears throat> He wasn't a start. He wasn't a regular starter for the reserves. He was more of an impact player off the bench for them. He played in the. Um, did he, was he playing in that next gen stuff? Because I think people were, people were raving about certain players, and I remember I think it was at the youth cup the, the season before watching one, and he was playing it, and I think I'd not heard of him, and he just seemed to sort of appear for a season, and then obviously not quite. He's, very, he's an exciting player to watch, but he Fast. went missing. But in fact, he took, he took David Amu's place in the side, didn't he? Because he was the one, he was the fly wing, and everyone was raving about him. And then all of a sudden, he was getting loaned out to lower division, like Atkinson and, and stuff like that. And this Tony Silver was in, and people were banging on about him, but by all accounts, not made the grades and gets you done, which is interesting because he's only 18. Yeah. So it says, he must clearly says to me, he's, yeah. he's, he's just not good The fact him. that he's only gone, he's gone to Barnsley as well, yeah. probably speaks volumes, doesn't it? Well, it's interesting that, because uh, was it Adam, that's where Adam Hamill ended up going as well, wasn't it? Um, briefly, anyway. Do you know the rumours of Cody going to Barnsley? Really? I don't know whether that was... I mean, if Barnsley were buying a player from Liverpool's youth team, Last week, and it turned out to be silver. Does anyone do you know anything about Connor Cody? He's, he's not gone, gone. he's not no, in the well, squad. He played under 19 tournament, didn't he? Ah, that but, would be yeah, but no, but so did Robinson. But oh, Robinson sure. joined, and they joined up, mm. and Cody stayed here. So I think because everyone's been raving about Connor Cody as if he's the next I think well, it looks like Wisdom and Sam are of step above them because mm. they played and he hasn't he hasn't travelled. Well, this is too. Um, Chris, do you want to do you want to pick up? Do you want me to carry on with this? You, no, you can't, big man. You fall, fall asleep. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Yeah. Just, 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 just. Yeah. I think we've it's, already talked about Sterling going out on loan anyway. Yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah. We discussed obviously we discussed Sterling a bit more. In, well, in, in hell detail on the subscriber show, obviously talking about the how we think the Liverpool got fair post Toronto pre Roma. Um, but we'll touch on it again because if you've not a subscriber, you don't know what the fuck we're talking about. That you should be. Um, Rogers essentially said that he thinks Raheem Sterling is not ready for the first team and that he could benefit from going out on low. But it, interestingly, he sort of qualifies that with we're going to take a look at him and see whether we're going to find a loan for him or whether he st or whether he does stay here. So he sort of opens the door. It's a for challenge, him. isn't it? Yeah, I think no. I think Mike, we've said this, haven't we? That it could be sort of a reverse psychology sort of thing or, could, or check yeah. test his metal psychology. could be a kick up the backside for him to say well you know after all as Chris was said on the, uh, through the show about the standing ovations that he wasn't going to mention uh, and all that kind of thing you know, standing maybe, ovations yeah, you remember the, the standing ovation yeah. Yeah. yeah again Raheem Sterling gets a standing ovation when he comes on for two minutes for his yeah. debut settle <laughs> settle yourselves um, uh, don't let it go to yeah. his head it's yeah. a, it could, it could be to rein him back in and think, oh, hang on, because everyone's raising about him, raving about him being the next great hope kind of thing. Yeah. And it's just like, hang on a second. But also, equally, he could benefit from going out on loan I think if it it's sense. a Premier League team. If, you, if the rumours are to be you have to get in Dempsey, you've got Barini, you've got Suarez, there's your three. Pacheco played really well. If Bellamy stays or doesn't, there's not, and there's probably going to be another option. Shoot Downing. Down and, you've got Downing, who's either going to stay or going to be Blow there. Out. How often is <laughs> like, how often is Sterling going to get a game if everyone's fit? And as we saw with the Lucas, we sent Shelby out. He was doing really well. We, we can you can bring them back if you've got suspensions and injuries. We'll, yeah. we'll put that clause in there. I is it, I think I right. is it a point where he's at the development of his career now where he will benefit far greater from going and playing 30 games in the yeah. Premier League we're, for a if lower side? If we can get him at Wigan or Swansea and he can play, if he's out at Wigan and if he's out or if he's out and Suso as well I'd do the same as Suso maybe even more yeah. and they're getting regular football you're testing them where we're going to see it uh, it's too important for us to try kids we try kids and we fuck up we lose a few matches the crowd are going to be against them and yeah. we've yeah. lost points whereas you can go out and we need to do what other teams in the league do really yeah. well well I think like, the point well, was made like, I think the point was made Chris that we, and we said this again that um we, if we're going to fucking loan players out though we've got to do it right yeah. we've got yeah. to stop sending people to Rochdale on loan yeah, and they, they, they and get to a the point end. where we, we see them develop as players and they stagnate at Liverpool yeah. and they go downhill when we send them to fucking shitty clubs yeah. Yeah. do you know what I mean we like, let's just fucking do it properly when, and you're Wigan's a shout there though because they play the same system but you're hoping that the Rodgers connection uh, with, of Swansea yeah 
kind of gives them, you know, we, we... Well, as you said as well, any potential deal for Joe Allen that could be going through, you know, if you throw a couple of plays well, in. Well, that's what happened like, with, with um, Shelby, wasn't it? We yeah. sent him because of the Adam deal to Blackpool. Yeah. So deals like that are made. I'd yeah. love to see it. And I think we've really got to be really clever, though, haven't we? Even, even if we do loan him to a Wigan or a Swansea, we've got to have a, like, fussy manager talk again. You have to see if they're a first team player in their yeah. plans because there's no point in them just going and stagnating there. No, they're yeah, just yeah, not a Premier League club. But I think a lot of that in Wigan will depend on uh, Victor Moses because yeah. yeah. he's being linked heavily away, isn't he? And whether if he if he's not there, there'll be definitely be a space opening up. Yeah, and they've got no on Wigan side, and yeah, and precisely. Yeah, yeah. that's why Dave's always on the telly. Yeah. An interesting one I heard this this weekend because a few people have asked me about this about Mateus Suarez. He was linked heavily with Liverpool last season. Now, um, a mate of mine's an agent, and he basically told me. Uh, on the QT that apparently that Suarez Liverpool that were very 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 interested in Mateus Suarez under the old regime but with Kenny gone it deals dead in the water they're not it's, they're not they're just not looking at him well, anymore. There's Diame, isn't it? We were gonna sign well, him. Well, Diame is the other one. There's Diame by all accounts was done and dusted. Yeah, and it? it's that's where it is. It's you've got transfers are t- transfers take. The Gaston Ramirez one was very very warm under Camoli, but then as yeah. soon as Camoli went, right. yeah. That but, one went dead. But transfers uh, take that long to put in place. Yeah. That Camoli was well, there. This is the point. This is. I was just again asking how it works. Would you trust yeah. Camoli to sign anyone no, after his transfer? Oh, that's, and that's why he sacked them. And well, that's that's exactly why he sacked. Kenny, no, that's exactly it? why. Well, that's yeah. that's primarily why the both of them went. But that's yeah. fallen so. But you're right there with the, with the deals again. I'm speaking to it. It's hard as hard the windows work. You see, your work starts in February. Yeah. You know, we, the minute the January one's done, people are. Doing you have a year a week off, and then you and a couple of weeks off, you chill out, and then you get you start working on summer. And he said that's why in September no agents do any work in September. September, yeah. just fucking stop. Yeah. Have a fucking breather because you work flat out from sort of like February all the way through to the close of the, of the well, transfer like, window. That's why, I, and we're always we're Liverpool. We're a big club, even if we're not. We've had we had money to spend at times. We're always linked with a lot of players. This summer, we've been linked with like ten times more than we normally are because there was scouts sent out under Camoli and Daglish to watch players so there was Diame as a deal there was um, this Suarez there was other players that are no longer going to be brought to us because we've got a completely new style of, and manager who wants different targets so there's those targets getting well, I also the old, and then agents use us to yeah. drive up oh the price. that's definitely I mean, that's where the Ramirez stuff's come from we've been told that Bologna basically just link him with Liverpool to try and get some interest um, but it's um it's interesting. I think with last season we were linked very much with the players that we we, got. we were after because it's been made known. Damian Cavoli didn't have backup plans in place. Whereas I think right now Liverpool have got a good scout network. Brendan Rodgers will have his own scouting network we've as sent well. Two, haven't we? We've had Swansea's and Liverpool's yeah. last year, and this yeah. is it. And so as a result, and we've kept our cards close, very close to our chest. No one has a fucking clue. We don't have any firm targets. I imagine the way it's working right now is we have an idea of what positions we need to buy for but yeah. there'll probably be three five or four or yeah, yeah. It, it, or maybe even as well much that's why it won't be overpaying like we did with yeah. Coley isn't it because <laughs> once he didn't get his target he was fucked well this is this notion the Joe Allen thing made me laugh because uh, people are saying they want 15 million for him I'm sorry I, I, and may, uh, maybe I'm going to end up with that on my face here but I don't think there's way anywhere in hell that they'll pull probably 15 million pounds no, I think it's Joe not again it's not again after last season there's no chance 10 and 50 cents a month but one thing we've got to really be careful about though with these transfer rooms the amount of bollocks that's put on there because <coughs> things on like there's so many websites you go on forums on this players being linked well, they're probably not it's just someone's making an RFA off me mate's dogs well <laughs> let's not get me on the fucking yeah. answer last week like you think yes your fake rumours well done but no yeah. even on genuine websites yeah. that you go on oh it's shite at yeah. the end of the day they're, not, they're just there to drive traffic exactly yeah. at the end it's of the day it's and it's you, if you look at your yeah way, and then, <laughs> and then we'll pick them uh, up and, yeah. dra- and drive some traffic this way. You, you know, it, sadly, it's it's like the last it's like the, But it's it's talking points people want to talk about. That's why we're here. Anyway, that's not my line too much. Uh, at least we're not making any of our own. Uh, no, no, we just 
you know, use other people's makeup. <laughs> um, Sky Sports uh, report, and apparently the Rose West Ham and Queens Park Rangers have expressed an interest in Barcelona starlet Gerard. Dulafer. Not, to be, not to be confused with Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> Gerard Depardieu, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Cyr- Cyrano himself. Um, I, again, it I just doesn't thrill you when you see names West Ham, West Ham and Queen's Bar Rangers linked with the same players that we're linked with. Because fundamentally, again, it goes back to this thing, they don't play the same type of football that we're looking to play. It's called so, from Barcelona. He's though, a 19 so. year old kid. It, 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 it's this starlet, though, isn't it? Yeah. Barcelona starlet. Yeah. West Ham keep you out of If he's a star, he's staying at Barca. Yeah, well, there was no, an interesting. No, no, no. I mean, did you see the? Did you see the article? Did you? Did any of you yeah, see yeah, the article? Yeah, and he says uh, it's well. He played twice, didn't he? Yeah. In the last season, so it's not like he's a fucking no. He's not B team. Yeah, yeah. B team nobody. <clears throat> he is at least he's he's been around the first yeah. team. But I think it is. I think that <clears throat> it's the same as Tello mm. that we're getting. We keep getting linked with Tello, and he he come on scored two against Leverkusen, didn't he? Is They've got big names. Is that the game where he beat Leverkusen like fifty? Yeah, six, 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 this general six, character. He's a, he's a forward, isn't he? Yeah, plays on. They played on the right <coughs> hand side. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah we yeah. don't care. Yes. Point. Gerard. He actually looks quite. He actually looked quite decent at the times I saw him playing for Barcelona. The thing is, they actually <laughs> do. They do <laughs> sell their kids. Chris has got a song already for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not you sure saw its inception right there. <laughs> The genesis, the, 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 the genesis of the new, sketch. The new best midfield in the world. So. Um, <laughs> but, but they do because they sold Romeo to Chelsea, PK went to Man U and they buy him back. So I know what you're saying, if he's a starlet at Barca... Fabregas yeah. went to Arsenal and they if made fortune you know, to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny Pacheco come to us. Yeah. Well, you never know. If he does well in the next two years... You never know. Yeah, yeah you're right. I mean, the thing they is... They let them go because they can't... In exactly the same as what we're saying about we can't Still. afford to play Sterling or Suso. Barcelona are not going to drop Iniesta and Sanchez to give this kid The beauty chance. of Barcelona as well is that you can sell, people, sell them on. You know that you, that's it. You know where their heart lies. Yeah. They're, they're going to come oh, back at a drop of a heart. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That's it. Um, but then they could loan them to as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh, right, moving on. <laughs> Amazing, same same club, different player. Um, Ibrahim Afale, again, once again linked. Um, I'd, that'd be amazing. I, I thought he was awful different. in the Euros. No, hasn't it been said today? That it's today, been yeah, like, he's pooed today, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in direct Shit. contradicting, uh, you say you don't even know where most of the, the papers the channels get this from. Pooed by who? The manager Tito. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's, 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 yeah. he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's his wrestler reference. And if anything, yes. if anything, he'd probably go to Arsenal over us, is what the other thing they were talking about. Well, they're being a good Santi Gazzola, aren't they? Yeah. To, today, like, which yeah, is yeah, a hell of a weird because he only signed for Malaga last season. Yeah, Malaga, 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 and Malaga, and money yeah. well, Malaga did. Malaga did what Man City did when they first got money, is they went around and bought every reasonable name player that they could get the for as much money as they possibly Well, exactly. It was by the end of the group, and they saw up front, and there was a Thomas Hoopsman at the back. Yeah. And um, all these players that you've been um, fucking whacking and, and all yeah. this, they went around and bought all of those players that were were good a few years ago that were available and filled the fucking squad with them. Yeah. And, um, what's his face? The Brazilian fella who played for Arsenal and Real Madrid. The, the beast. Oh, the beast. The beast. Yeah. Dave Batista. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the Malaga uh, <laughs> TV. Um, yeah, it's a shame about that, because like, I think again it's another kind of that would be that would have been the kind of sign yeah. that would make me excited um, sexually. Um, I think that's as far as not being like with Santi Cozola. I think he should be a player. We should be definitely interested. Most, in most certainly. That's another conversation. Um, another one is Musa Sissoko. I love the way these are these are phrased though. France midfielder Musa Sissoko has put Liverpool on red alert after revealing he's keen to quench his thirst yeah. for Premier League football. What bollocks! Yeah. yeah. So he's basically what, said, "I'd like to get more money and play in the Premier League." He was one we were linked with. Um, with was it last summer? Yeah. Or was it two, two years, two years ago. They pop up. They pop yeah. up all the time, don't they? So again, Babble. those them Sissokos as well. In fairness, Babel was linked today. Marcus, he's back on the market. Marcus Babel is the manager of Hoffenheim, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming yeah. it is because it said the and he's left Ryan out of his squad, and, he, he? and he's left them out because he said he refuses to train because he's lazy. So they're accepting two million for him. And then yesterday it was Liverpool are going to buy him back. I'll be fucked. And then today it's Newcastle, Ryan Newcastle <laughs> and Tottenham. Rapping Ryan Babel. <laughs> 
the Dutch tiny temper. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fairness, I know a lot of people have got time for Ryan Babel out there, and he and shows some real glimpses. Him. Yeah, as, alas, <laughs> Ryan. I actually followed him on Twitter when he left. I just I'm not. Don't have to put up with your bollocks anymore, <laughs> filling up my timeline. Like, um, no, I, I think Ryan Babel. I think what he proved in his time at Liverpool again. He's not. He wasn't clever enough to understand any real tactical yep. systems and stuff. Like that. Rafa Benitez basically used to just have to say to him, "Go out and yeah. do, go out and play your game." And run, that's why. Run, forest, run. Yeah. yeah. Be fast. <laughs> shoot. Yeah. 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 Run, shoot, go. You know. And uh, but it was that one infuriating post about him was that like he could only beat a man once, but he, he would just draw, he would draw someone in to to beat them, and then that was it. And then it was like oh, now what? Now what? Means? Yeah. yeah. Now what? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. everyone's marked. That Derby County. Oh game. yeah, well that was right. Now we thought we had the new John Barnes, didn't we? But it turns out we didn't. We had the new Mark Walters. Anyway, <laughs> um, we had to step over. Yeah, but going going back to the um, the last bit, of, obviously the transfer news. I think that Joe Allen one's interesting in that Rogers has basically said that he's interested and he'd lo- yeah. he'd love to have him. Michael Loudrup has said. You know we won't get we won't stand in his way if he's we signed a replacement for him already hasn't he looks yeah, like he looks to have signed me and me too is his, is his replacement there's someone else he's been linked with as well isn't is it mark is it mark davies from bolton or yeah they were linked with mark davies, been linked with them. which is probably where the mark davies to liverpool thing come from because rogers was scouting him or swansea was could, scouting him yeah, already well be. you know and just people have put the connections together i think joe Allen, if it's well i think it'll probably happen yeah i think, I think it's, it's i the way it seems from what's coming out of Liverpool this year like we were talking before about we all knew our targets or the targets were spot on he come out and he said in the conference didn't he, he said you know, we've been linked with 40, 50 and only two or three are the actual ones then there was the fuck up on the FSG website about Dempsey which prompted that, did you I think that, that was probably, probably like, like, did you read the prompt? <coughs> no it, it wasn't a fuck up like they basically, they, they basically repeated the mirror. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All, I thought that at the time, and I also said it's on their official website. It's it's the same. Like the mirror come out and said it, didn't he? That it's yeah. a done deal, and then it's it's just a fucking repeating article. It's like it's like saying it's on the Liverpool website. Yeah. It's not. They've got a little section called Media yeah. Watch, and it says it's re- it's from it's, re- yeah. Yeah. it's, it's some seventeen-year-old kid who's a social media pundit who goes and cuts and pastes the links to other sites precisely and, uh, right so yeah i think uh, the commentators the uh, on espn on saturday the, the game or whatever made the very good points about joe allen is that uh, when any manager comes in they want and they've got their own style and it's very specific style that uh, rogers has got you need someone who understands that style of playing that yeah. system and that joe allen was his well, does Barini, well. does that, that would exactly. have been Barini allen and sigurdsson yeah like they yeah. come in yeah and if he brings the keeper in that we said before on the subscription well, the thing is you need someone in the dressing room as well i think yeah. he's obviously going to have jamie carragher yeah. by the sounds of it but having a joe allen in there as don't well. need to teach them anything yeah that's yeah. it you know, i think we made like the point that we last week because that i oh, was it the week before even the, the players that we the players a lot of players we were linked with are at clubs that already play a very similar system, system yeah. anyway. You know, Barcelona players and even like Theo Walcott, this kind of yeah. this kind of idea that you don't have to do as much work. And again, we made the point on the subscriber show we're looking at the youth players uh, and how a lot because the youth setup is very similar to how Brock Rogers wants to watch his watch his watch his Really, really good. Um, <laughs> the, the, it, you could save yourself a few bob because these players, while they might not be the most technically gifted or experienced, at least they know how to play. It's the, not the Because we're Liverpool, so the minute we come in, we're probably going to get overcharged anyway. Yeah. It's time. You know, I don't think they will get overcharged anymore. No, I, I think, think they're going to come always not there. Really. Stand, stand, well, I think the, like, the fact of the matter is, I think there's two things. There's, there's selling players on the system. Players want every player in, in the world is envious of the way the Barcelona and Spain plays because that's the way football should yeah. be played. Yeah. So you can sell people on the concept and you can sell people on Liverpool. And I think we're just going to go back to two things is saying 15 million, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. They'll tell, you, tell your player that you've rejected a bid. From us, yeah. But, or you won't accept our bit for them and see how we turn the heads. Because we used to do it. We yeah. did it in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vladimir Schmidt, yeah, was yeah, one of the best yeah. examples of it. We what they wanted like seven million for it, seven odd million, and we got we got him for a, I think did we get him for like three, three and a half, 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 half. So that that's it. Like you know, I think we'll go past that and have a multiple targets. Don't yeah. be surprised. And this is the Joe Allen thing. If they want fifteen million pound for him, we won't buy Joe Allen. It's what you said before. It's what you said before. Of we're not. Last year it seemed to be we had a list of targets and there were specific names. We didn't really know how they were going to fit them in because obviously we bought Henderson to play right wing. Whereas this year we've got a list of positions where we know and we'll have several targets in those positions and we'll get the best deal we can. Yeah. But it's, power, isn't it's it? the afterlife yeah. thing of you just said, I, I'll, that's a sign that I think will excite me. I think 
maybe this year and maybe for another few years we're probably not going to buy players that we know because of that we've got Man City well, Malaga, because PSG. something needs to change we've been trying to buy big names for ages not gonna wait. I think, we, I think so that's why when well, I, you know, well, I a second we had our biggest success when we had big money to spend on on top quality players since and that's a manager gone. who's proven to spend oh, well oh, oh, in that area you know, really what, the point is is that you need to have world class players if you want to compete at a world class yeah. level of course we're not at that level so again it goes back to this problem of we need gateway silence but and I would say that we someone like I feel like we, we could, there's someone that you'd take a gamble on you know what I mean someone like that who's good enough to be signed by Barcelona but perhaps not good enough to be a first team regular, yeah. regular for them. So Real Madrid cast offs. Well, that's why I think cast offs. Like um, Esteban Granero, um, Callion, Tello, this new one, Gerard from Barcelona. I think they're the ones that hold the most water. When we're getting linked with, look at what they're going to get, you know, like. Granero's just an old name rehashed again, though, wasn't it, from last season? But yeah. Callion is a very, yeah. very interesting one. We're, um, we're going to go for Moutinho. Mm. We're going to go for. Because he had a. Mm. We're going to go and bring mm. Morales back or whatever. Those type Milner has been linked. Those ones I think are bullshit. Yeah. On that though, Morales would fit into this system so well. Yeah. Wouldn't he as yeah. one of those attacking mids. Yeah. If he was just allowed not to tackle people. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we'll we'll um, we're gonna pick up. We're gonna continue the uh, transfer discussion on the subscriber show. Uh, Sorry. Because <laughs> 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 you know, people don't watch half an hour on YouTube, so there's no point as Kelly on here. Anyway, if you want to watch some more in-depth discussion, talking about the tour, talking about the young players, talking about the Europa League draw, uh, talking about some of the funnier moments surrounding the thing, including Michael Owen's rather ill-advised Q&A <laughs> session, do tune into our subscriber show. It's free for the first month. It's on www.theredmentv.com. Just £2 a month after that via PayPal. So have a look. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, Fuck it right off and have a, whatever like. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching this. If you're watching this on YouTube on the uh, on the transfer roundup, um, thanks very much. Good night. <laughs>